Not one more American life should be lost because our lawmakers failed to secure our borders. That's why we are calling on Congress to fix our terrible immigration laws, stop catch and release, to end deadly sanctuary cities, to stop the visa lottery program. And a lot more. Well, President Trump today previewing what we can expect to hear when he announces a major immigration overhaul tomorrow. And as we witnessed last week in South Texas, this is beyond crisis point now. Okay, we have updates we're going to bring you tomorrow on New Mexico, a story in New Mexico that's been completely lost on most in the media. And uh, we're told two main points in the president's new immigration plan will be securing the border and instituting now this merit-based immigration system. The goal is to reduce the number of illegals admitted due to family ties. Right now, 66% of 1.1 million green cards are doled out just because of family relationships. They want to invert that with merit-based uh, immigration. Joining us now is House Minority Whip Steve Scalise. Uh, Congressman, is there a coalition that would support flipping the narrative from entire family trees coming in here to people we supposedly need because there are no Americans to do these jobs? I I'm not for increasing the number of, of legal immigrants. I think 1.1 million is enough. President, I think, is going to keep it at the same number. But if you're going to keep it at the same number and not reduce it, this seems to make sense. Yeah, Laura, and, and there's no talk of increasing the number. What there is talk of is getting back to rule of law, securing the border, going to a merit-based system. And think about this. Right now, we've got some of the dumbest laws on the books. If we educate somebody in America to be a computer scientist, an engineer, jobs we need in America, they want to stay in America, we force them to leave the country to compete against us. While we've got the visa lottery, where we literally pluck names out of a hat, in many cases from countries that don't like us, to bring them here. Why don't we flip that narrative? We have caps on different countries. So if you're coming from India, you might wait 20 years, whereas if you're coming from Honduras, you may wait six years to come here. And then, the, like you talked about, the family tree issue. Let's get to a merit-based system where we have rule of law uh, and where we ultimately get back to those basic foundational principles where you come to America to well, seek well, the American dream. Well, you're seeing video. It's not about what you're talking about. We're seeing video of what I saw last week at the border, which is basically people... I love the guy filming. That's just one of the best. He's like a local reporter. But people are just waiting for the Border Patrol and just, they're just pulling them up, processing them in about 24 hours and releasing them. But that's, that goes to the asylum laws, which Lindsey Graham wants to address. But, I mean, are the Democrats going to agree to any of this stuff or are they going to own the issue? Is that the goal here, make them well, own Laura, the issue if they don't move? Democrats in middle America are actually for this. The socialist Democrats here in Washington are not. And it shows the divide, not yeah. within the country, it shows the divide within their party. You've got to end catch and release. You've got to end these magnets that are forcing people to come here, the, the breakdowns in the asylum law. Uh, that's going to be some of the things that I think people are going to be excited happen. about. We got 100,000 people just coming in last month. By the way, Angela Rye, one of CNN's favorite liberal analysts, said this tonight about the president's plan. You cannot develop policy absent people and compassion. It does not work. It results not just in hurt individuals, but also hurt families. Because at the end of the day, what they're saying is you have to be amazingly brilliant. You probably have to be whiter. This is reminiscent to me of what happened before the civil rights movement right. really began. Chris Cuomo. All right. That's his response. Do they have any idea what they're talking about? I mean, what do you tell to a person who's been waiting in line legally 10 years to come to America when you're going to allow somebody to just walk Jump right in front river. of them because you have laws that allow them to do it. The, you know, you literally read a script and you can come here illegally in place of that person that's been waiting in line 10 years. Uh, point system. I don't know how this actually plays out with the bureaucracy. Your age, English proficiency. Again, you can game all this stuff. This doesn't mean much. Offer of employment above a certain wage threshold, educational and vocational certifications. Look, I I think in the end, this issue, if properly messaged, will be another huge winner for the president. He, although his numbers are not good on immigration now. Have you seen this? And I don't know if it's because people are seeing these videos and just frustrated and they're like, why isn't he fixed this? And they're impatient. But his numbers for, for his dedication to this issue are not, I know, well, where they want, he wants when I, to When I go to, and, I, and I've been to a lot of states, a lot of swing states, of course, I was in Louisiana yeah. with the president yesterday. There are the lines to see this president are unbelievable. Tell me about it. We have, how much up. money you raised last night? How oh much gosh, money in, in uh, New Orleans? Million dollars, and it was sold out. There were people that were literally being turned away. 
This president has stood up for the things that he promised. He's getting us back to rule of law. He's got a good immigration plan that actually gets us back to a merit-based system. Four million, one night into one. 5,000 people illegally crossing a day, many cases. Uh, and the Democrats want to own that. Uh, most of America is now, not, all right. most Democrats are not. Congressman, it's great to see you, as always.